Hey friends, it's Gazebo here, and welcome back to the Friday Hangout. I said I said the thing this time, so my editor can stop screaming at me. Can stop being all passive aggressive. Um, it's been like five weeks since I played the game, but uh, I'm pretty sure the game crashed at like the very end last time. Yeah, so find an alien empire. We're back to that. Um, right. Okay. Fun. We had a trade and everything. We have trade with them. I don't know if they can make it actually to where we're at. I want to say it was this. I don't know what that is. Can I get there? There's a signal coming from here. Did we see that one before? Space people? Drake's equation was right. A living alien race. We are not alone. It looks like they have sent an envoy to greet you. Perhaps you should talk to them. Open your communications panel. Halt in the name of the Gooplet Empire. All travelers must submit for inspection of fortitude. That is cool looking. State your name and be known to the Supreme Gooplet Empire. I am Hi I am from the Hyvon. I am come in peace. Uh, words. The only true peace is a peace that Spode gives to his believers. It is an honor. Speak of what thou, uh, what thou dost desire and followers of Spode will listen. Diplomacy. We welcome you in the name of Spode. Can we be of assistance? Uh, I'd like to know about your race. We, the Gooplet Empire, are followers of the teachings of Spode and the philosophy of faith. We heard about you before you arrived here, and quite honestly, we cannot believe you, you knew not believe in the beliefs that we believe in. Unbelievable. That's fascinating. Um, uh, I think... Did I... Is this the same one? I don't think it is. We, the Gooplet Empire, follow the one true philosophy of faith. Woe to be to those who do not share our beliefs of the teachings of Spode, for they are wrong in the face of all that is right. If you were to repent now and admit your wrongness, we, the Gooplet Empire, may take mercy upon you and help you to see the way of the rightness. What? What if I just... I want to just... What if I would just want to trade? Um... We have asked Spode's guidance on the matter, and Spode has declined your offer. Perhaps Spode will be more favorable at a future date. Okay. Um, do we have gifts? We can give them... We'll, we'll, we'll go with 50,000? In Spode's name, we thank our friends for this generous gift. May Spode continue to bring us. Can I ask about something else? Trade? Uh, colony and credit pack? For 90,000. Red Spice. Sell. We're, we're getting there. They did trust. I don't know if my mic's picking up on that, but very loud engine vehicle just went by. Um, so we're getting there, I guess. Out of 100, we're at, you know midway just about um diplomacy please accept another gift 10,000 spot's name we think our friend blah 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 we're at 12 missions. We're pleased that you're willing to work for Spode's holy cause. I yearn to feel the solar wind at my back. Our sanctuary on planet Sobia, heretofore a model of zeal and piety, is now threatened by fiery demonic beings. Will you deliver the faithful from this menace? I, uh, have a conflict. I can't. Truly it is uh, said that the heart of an unbeliever is a heart of stone. Ah, dang. Goodbye. Um. Hmm. 
maybe if we do that. We're up to 27. Yeah. So where are we at? The Allies and Enemies filter will show you the region of space controlled by friend or foe. The Empire filter will show all the stars occupied by alien empires. This is missions, empires, allies, and enemies. Empires, allies, enemies. Return to the home world. Right, we have to... We have to zigzag across the stars. The downloaded, the download from your data receiver is quite amazing, Captain. We have no idea other space-faring civilizations were so close by. We are well on our way to establishing our place in the galactic community. It's probably a good idea to forge a good relationship with this race. We may need an ally in the future. Taking assignments from them will hopefully keep us in their good graces. They may also be interested in trade, which would be a great boost to our empire's wealth. Are you ready to take on more missions? I'm in. Ah! Our cities have been busy producing spice in record amounts, resulting in a surplus. We need to look for potential buyers. Uh, sure. It's easy. Add spice to your already collect for me. Okay. Collect spice. Sell. Find another empire who is interested in purchasing spice by traveling to one of their planets and hail from, hail to them with the short range. Blah blah blah. Cool. Excellent. You'll be rolling in dough. Try to find an empire offering you the best deal and watch for the ones who might try to look. Okay. Um, you've completed five missions. Small, uh, tools unlock small energy storage, energy pack, drought generator, atmosphere generator. Um... Scan colonization tools, social life. Uh, recharge, trade, atmosphere general. 150, really? Okay. Well, at least we recharged. Which star was it? It was that one, I want to say. So we're going to go here and collect spice. They have no spice. <laughs> they didn't have anything. Missions. Uh, the creative... The creature Novi is an excellent exterminating vermin. We're thinking of introducing it to our own biome, but we need to study it first. That's cool. Um, so, I don't know if I've mentioned this in another video, but I was bored one day and didn't want to play a game off screen. But uh, the Novi are a creature I made that was going to be... Uh, I think the save actually originally crashed on them, but it was going to be the exact opposite of Hyvon, and I was hoping to run into them in space, basically. So that is cool. The creature Novi is excellent at exterminating vermin. You're, we're thinking of introducing it to our own biome, but we need to study it first. Can you bring us a specimen? I can handle that. Thanks, Captain. We appreciate the effort. Once on planet, Moi Hyayan, you have three, uh, three minute sections to locate and secure the creature. Okay, cool. Um, which would need the... We would need the... Abduction beam. And the radar. Okay, so... We're looking for the what star system? The Salus 2?
Where is this signal coming from? Be prepared to bow before the might of Spode. Okay, then. Uh, we're still looking for Stylus 2 star system. Which could be anywhere within this circle, I guess. That's cool, but uh, the thing with finding Novi, if it is the same species that I'm thinking of, is uh, it was on the opposite side of the opening spore menu. And my dog is barking for some reason. Um, Hold the Magnificent Diva Bay Empire. Followers of the Truth, Crusaders of Right will consider your character. Who do you present yourself to be? I am from the Hivon. I come in peace. Humility is the first step to becoming a, a follower of the Spode. Mm -hmm. We, the Diva, follow the one true philosophy of faith. Woe to those who do not share our beliefs. The teaching of Spode in the face of all that's right. Something about Spode. Uh, cool. Bye. We're looking for Germany. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for, but uh, it's interesting to see. Um, oh, Stylus 2. Uh, I forgot how to move the camera. Uh. What am I looking for? Yep, there they are. Okay. Return, return, return faster. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. The Novi animal has arrived in good condition. Here are your 15,000. A pleasure to help so long. Do you have spice now? No spice. We we, we kind of need the spice. It was this planet. Right. Spice. We needed spice. And... Recharge. Goodbye. We go sell spice now. Jettison cargo. Um, maybe not yet. 
so I could just jettison them into space since I had extra. Um. <clears throat> An unusual scan pattern. Maybe not. Greetings, the servants of Spode wonder what has brought the captain here. Starship Space Fawn requesting permission to orbit, for it is written, the scrolls of faith reject ye not the traveler until ye know their purpose. What is your purpose? Trade. I want to sell you two things of red spice. 27. We're almost on good terms. Success. Return to home planet. Uh, first. Diplomacy. Um, <laughs> we, the Gooplet Empire, follow the one true philosophy of faith. Will be to those who do not share our beliefs, for they are warring in the face of all that is right. If you were to repent now and admit your wrongness, blah, blah, blah. Fascinating. Please accept our gift. It's about to name. We thank our friend. Okay, I think when we're in the blue, we can start an actual trade route. I'd like to establish a trade. We have sought counsel on this matter, and Spode has given it his blessing. I'm certain they'll be started shortly. So, yeah, we have a trade route now. Which should give us a more constant rate of money. Yes, perhaps. <clears throat> Good job keeping the coffers to, of our treasury full allows you to purchase more tools for your spaceship, pay for your repairs and recharging, build up more colonies, as well as send contribute, contributions to other empires to help build relationships. We have plenty more missions for you to take on if you so choose. I'm in. Captain, it's imperative that we jumpstart our space exploration program by exploring more of the galaxy. We know there are other aliens out there to make contact with. We know there are more solar systems and planets waiting to be discovered. Uh, we are beginning to outgrow our home, home world. We should definitely see about finding other suitable planets to colonize. There's so much to do. Are you ready to accept a mission? I want to expand our empire. When it comes to expanding our empire, we have several different options. We can start from scratch and build a colony on an uninhabited planet. We can also set up a trade route with another empire's planet, eventually enabling you to be able to purchase their system. We can always take someone else's planet by force, but that will definitely make enemies. No matter how you decide to expand, it's going to take a lot of capital. The best way to make more spore bucks is by trading spice with other empires. Um, I'd like to terraform. Ah, yes, Captain Hyvon, as you know from your exploration of the universe, we were lucky to find such a nice planet on which to establish our colony. If we're going to become a galactic force, we must learn how to improve the atmosphere and temperature of a planet. You can make a suboptimal planet ideal for colonization. Completing this mission will earn you 10,000 sp uh, spore bucks. How can I terraform? Basically, terraforming is like adjusting a planetary thermostat and humidifier. Get to the water level and temperature just so, and voila, you have a habitable habitable planet being as bring the terraform score of planet diet of a to a t score of one making it much more hospitable for colonies how would i do that power to control a planet's t score is something we are just beginning to understand we'll give you a few basic tools to help you in the efforts use them wisely though all we have i'm up for the challenge one more thing, we will need to fill the food web using the specimen from your cargo. A population of plant and animals is what keeps a planet's T-score stabilized. Make sure you place plants first. If you run out of specimens, come back and we will supply you with more. Uh, which planet? We've identified suitable candidate, which would make for a colony is proud to call home. Don't you think of... Don't you think date of Labia system is a perfect choice? Labia? I don't know. I'll check it out. Uh, uh, Wonderful. Have a safe flight. We look forward to a successful return and the planetary expansion of our people. Be well and prosper. Okay, so they gave me a free version of all the things I need. 
Uh, refer to the gauge on the terraforming panel to gather current temperature and atmospheric readings. Cool. Okay. I don't know how long I've been recording for. So we can do this fast. The button toggles between the mini-map and the food web monitor. The target on the left shows the planet's atmosphere and temperature or terrascope. Use the terraforming tools to improve the planet's terrascore by moving the dot towards the center ring. The center ring represents an ideal T3 planet. Um, terraforming. What do we need? We have medium plant and... Let's see. Let's see. High temperature, low temperature. I don't know what any of this means. Herbivores, large plant, carnivores. Meteor shower to raise temperature, lower temperature, drought generator, atmosphere. Place on planet to raise its atmosphere level. I feel like we need more atmosphere. <laughs> some planet to lower the atmosphere level. Dense atmosphere, no atmosphere. Okay. Small plant. Stabilizing the T-score. Congratulations, you've improved the T-score of this planet. We've hit T1. Okay. Notice a T1 planet can support life. Place plants from your cargo to hold in three sizes to increase the stability of the t-score if you don't do this quickly the plant's t-score levels will drop okay um large plant Placing animals, you've stabilized the atmosphere and temperature. Notice that the plants you placed have been added to the food web grid. This planet is now ready for animal life. Place herbivores and carnivores in the order. In that order. Okay, so herbivores and carnivores in that order to complete the food web. So. Herbivores. What if we throw in... Oh no, we're losing interest in trade. Okay. We need to diversify the animals, I guess. Oh! So they don't need the shield anymore. They can just go and do whatever. Colonies can be established on any planet from barren moons to lush Terrascore 3 oasises. Fruitful colonies mine spice that can be traded. You've completed a row of the ecosystem. If you've placed a colony on this planet, you can now add buildings to it by clicking on the city hall. To add more colonies, improve the T-score. Complete the food web, track an animal using radar. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so... I'm assuming the reason we have stuff is we're going to need stuff. Oh, and we have to design stuff again, of course. We'll leave that for some other time. I'm just going to throw turret in there for now for defense. Um, yeah. Cool. Add a factory to your colony. Um, I think we're just going to leave it there for now, really. Um, 
You can't really get there worth doing anything. Well, they have something going on there. Oh, something's happening. Um, okay. Congratulations, you are now bestowed with the title of Commander. Cool. Greetings, our friend Commander. Welcome to Spode's name. Um, trade. I don't have anything to trade. Um, at the moment, I can... Diplomacy. <clears throat> we would never enter we could never enter partnership with someone one so inclined will you see cleansing i'm going to make sure whatever needs to happen happens the ways of vote in many other various worlds have been have been uh, has been discovered that is rich in organisms and which may serve a settlement through which the light of spode may be projected through the galaxy would you aid us in the sacred cause um Oh, can I find it? Plant Sobia Orbit's Piler, collect a sample of all Spode's handiwork, plant an animal, and then return. Okay, I'm off. I should be off. Farewell. Um, gather samples of plants and animals from planet Sobia. planet is located in the Piler star system. Use the food web. Okay, first I'm going to recharge... Then we're going to quickly do this, and then we're done with the video. Um, repair, recharge, goodbye, cargo. Just, I know it's my own creature that I've created, but right now, don't need it. What am I looking for? I need Planet Sobia. Planet Sobia. Well, that was easy. Gather yeah, samples of plants and animals from the planet. think that's a plant? Okay. What all do I need? I've not scanned of the large plant or the other herbivore. Okay. Um, I might just, yeah, get rid of that. Um, plant. No, that's not what I want. Okay, and I need small plant. Where would I find small plant?
Okay, where's the planet I'm returning to now? Space is complicated, guys. I'm doing this just so I can keep my trade route. Spoke glory shines in each of these samples. Please take 20,000 spore bucks and speak with our missionary brother on your way out. It was fun. Take care. Trade route progress. Cool. Um, I think we're going to end the video actually by our home planet. Pleasure to see you, recharge, and that's it, we did the first thing, cool. Um, file hasn't crashed yet, that's good, um, and I think that's where we're going to end this video. So, bye guys, sorry if this was repeat of anything you saw last time, I feel like in this last section there's going to be a lot of repeated stuff. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming out. Consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, and that's all for me for this week. See you guys next Friday. Bye!